So uh, welcome to Lars Arsen Studio. This is a more practical rendition, pure philosophy and um, sociology. This is the uh, the influence that has developed over the period. So this is more like how I approach it from a very practical point of view. So this is fiberglass, this board here. And in terms of um, what could be done with this, it's fiberglass, and therefore it's an insulator. An electrical insulation is used. Fiberglass is very a good insulator. So I've got the potential to use a conductor like copper and um, run it through the surface here and adding lights. In a previous vlog, Art Dialectic, the proposition outsider artist was difficult to maintain. I'll summarize the reasons as follows. An outsider artist was purportedly intrinsic property. Now, the intrinsic property being the what it's like to be, and that's just in relation to first person subjective perspective or the qualitative qualia as a philosophical term uh, relating to a sense of perception as it is in a very primordial or raw sense. So could it be that as an outsider artist one has a particular sense of the world? Then that person would be intrinsically an outsider artist in the sense from birth. Uh, one might see it as a psychological category then. But on further analysis we see it's not just a psychological category, it may not even be a psychological category by necessity. So this is fiberglass as well and it's, it's one of these figurines. You know, it's possible to put some of the conductors underneath here and run some lights through. It can create like a pattern. And this section here is an air dried clay. It's not used for any reinforcing. What's reinforcing all this is the steel. These are steel rods. I put the wires, sort of wire ins inserted into the fiberglass, powerful anchor. The steel rods are threaded through. Be a psychological category by necessity because of the social construction which is based on sort of uh, structural sociological categories and one of the main ones is to do with uh, the structures of society that embed education within a person from a very young age and rewards, so often rewards or um, uh, to do with prizes, art prizes um, given to a person. And then on top of the meritocracy there is a, so a social capital component and that's probably to do with the demographics where you're um, situated and to a degree related to class structure in the sense of economic capacities that are built into the system of the person's financial capacity to say purchase the paints, purchase the ability and the time to do the stuff. Wait till it dries and then I might scrape it with some sandpaper and place a clear casting resin to contain it otherwise it will start to uh, peel off as in there's a limit to if I just left it as it is. So yeah, this bit here, I've put some tissue fiberglass over the top of this clay and then painted over that. So it looks a little bit, bit different, but it needs also some extra reinforcing. It's a cultures of taste. So somebody might have not much money, be very poor financially, but just happens to be in a subculture. So then definitely not outside to that. So it's to do with then how you categorize society. If there are groups on the margin, then, then a person could be part of that taste culture, but maybe not part of like an elite or, or a highly um, economically structured taste culture, for example, like uh, the ballet. Can there be a particular outsider artist that does not fit any of those categories at all and, and the particular one that needs to be looked at is the subcultural category. You know, what would that entail? There's um, some of these forms that emerge that have a kind of meaning in relation to, um, you know, lived experience. If I were living in the prehistoric kind of context and dabbling on a wall, you know, on a cave wall um, that's not wanting. But the green is to do with, uh, you know, often finding food sources. 
and the yellow is somewhere in between, like the sun, knowing that the sun is both good but dangerous. And even now, it's the sort of Um, express a particular ideology.